In this video, I will show you how to install WhatsApp for the first time on your iPhone. So let's get started. As any other app, first we need to go to the App Store. So touch App Store, touch Search, and then touch here and search for WhatsApp. Select WhatsApp from the search results. First result is just an ad, ignore that. Come to the second result, which is WhatsApp, and then simply select it. Make sure the app is from WhatsApp, and then touch Get in order to install it. After a while, your installation will complete, and then touch Open to open the app. First, we got to agree to the privacy policy by touching Agree and Continue. Then your iPhone would give this message saying WhatsApp would like to send you notifications. Don't allow or allow. Simply touch allow. Then here, make sure the selected country is correct and then enter your phone number. Then touch done. Then it would say, is this number correct? Then simply say yes if it is correct. And if not, touch edit. But because I know it's correct, I simply touch yes. Then WhatsApp would start verifying your number and would send you an SMS with the code for verification. After receiving the code, simply enter it here to verify your phone number. You can touch here to paste the code from the messages. Then WhatsApp would start validating the code. Here it is very important to make sure your iCloud account and your phone number match because here WhatsApp tries to restore your history from iCloud and importantly you won't be able to restore later if you decline to restore now. So take your time to restore it now. But since this is the first time I'm using this phone number to set up a WhatsApp account, I simply touch skip restore. Here then comes to edit profile page, which would ask you to enter your name. So enter your name. And if you would like to set up a profile photo, simply touch add photo. But you don't necessarily need to add a photo. So after touching add photo, it will give you two options. One, take photo and the second, choose photo. But because I've already got photos of myself in my gallery, I simply touch choose photo. Then it goes to your photo gallery where you can select the photo that you want to set up as your profile photo. So I simply, for this example, select any random photo. After doing that, it comes to this page where it allows you to move and scale the photo. The highlighted circle would be cropped out from the photo. So you can move around to make sure your face is at the center of the circle and you can zoom in and zoom out by using two of your fingers. And once you're happy with the position and the zoom, simply touch choose. Then touch done in order to complete our profile then you might get another message regarding terms of service and privacy. Read this carefully and once you're happy, simply touch next. Then it will give you more information regarding terms of service and privacy, as well as you got to then confirm if you're above 16 years old. So if you touch here, you confirm and then simply touch on agree. If you're happy with the terms in order to accept the terms, then iPhone would say WhatsApp would like to access your contacts and WhatsApp wouldn't work very well if you don't give access to the contacts so simply touch OK. Here it is we have completed our WhatsApp setup. Then as soon as you touch on the camera icon then iPhone would say would you allow WhatsApp to access the camera? Obviously WhatsApp would need access to your camera in order to make video calls and then take photos and record videos so you need to say okay then iphone gives another message saying would you allow whatsapp to access your photos again you got to give access in order to share your photos and videos with others on whatsapp so i simply select 
allow access to all photos and finally the same question regarding microphone so in order to be able to call others you need to give access to microphone so simply touch ok then it comes here and allows you to select any photos or videos to share with others but before sharing anything with anyone we need to first add our first contact so i close this now if we go to the chats tab and touch this corner and then touch new contact you could then add a new contact you already might have contacts that have got whatsapp but my phone is new and i don't have any contacts so i got to add my first contact first enter your contacts phone number then enter the contacts first name and last name and touch save here it is we have added our first contact touch done and then touch the name of the contact that we have just added here and here whatsapp would allow you to write your first ever message on whatsapp so i simply type hi and then i touch here in order to send my message to my newly added contact at any time i could go back to my phone and then touch the whatsapp app open my app and then select the person i want to interact with then i could simply touch on a video call for example then it starts calling this is the other phone it starts ringing as easy as that we manage to call our friend and we can have a proper video conversation with the other person now let's close this video call now if you touch the back arrow could then see your chats under the chat tab and then if you touch on the status you could see your status and then if you touch on the calls you could see your call history and then if you again touch on chats you could select the same person or another person and then start chatting making audio calls or video calls but in here i will simply send another message saying how are you then you get first one tick mark that means the message has left your phone and then if you get two gray tick marks that means the message has reached the other person and once the other person reads your message the two gray tick marks would become two blue tick marks so now on the other phone i read the message and the two gray tick marks change into two blue tick marks that means the message has been read now if you press the back arrow we get back to the chats tab and now if you touch the camera in the center then the camera turns on at the same time you can select from already taken photos so i simply select a photo then if you touch here you could choose whom to send you could send into your status which is similar to stories in instagram or you could send to your recent chats for this example i check both and then i simply touch send in order to send this photo into these two selections and if you go to the chats again you can see the photo has been sent if this video was helpful please don't forget to watch my other videos on the screen as well as to subscribe to help me to get 100,000 subscribers if you have got any questions please let me know in the comments below